Hello and good morning on our second morning on board Queen Mary 2. So we're now going to put our winter woolies on. Well, I've got my winter woolie on. Um, but we're going to get dressed up and go out into Rotterdam and see what yes. we can find there. Yeah, see if we can find this complimentary shuttle bus and, mm. and yeah, enjoy it. Yeah, so we'll take you with us. Bye bye. So we've arrived in Rotterdam. Some interesting, stylish little decorations in here, aren't there? Oh yeah, what have we got? Ah, yeah, I just thought we'd uh, have a little walk through. It's quite nice, isn't it? Doesn't change much since August, does it? Unlike our previous trip, when we had to walk into town, Cunard had arranged complimentary shuttle buses. Thank you very much, Cunard, first class. We are in Rotterdam. And here we are by the Cube Houses. They certainly are a bit strange, aren't they? According to the locals, this building here is called Pencil. And when you get to the top, you can see why. Santa Claus is coming, Santa Claus is coming, Santa Claus is coming, Santa Claus is coming. Oh look, darling, it's a Coca-Cola lorry in Rotterdam. It certainly was a bit of a surprise bumping into the Coca-Cola lorry right outside the Marktal, which is where we were aiming for. We'd visited here in the summer, but I think our needs were a little bit different this time. Last August, we came here to TGI Fridays and we're desperate for something cold to drink. And we sat in the seat just inside that window there and we had nice cold beer. Today it was minus two and as well as exploring all the food halls again we wanted to find something warm to drink and this is what we found some glue vine. So let's see what your glue vine's like. You find some telephones and still it reckon? will yeah. Very experienced at this. Oh, actually, that's not too bad. Not too bad. So there's your opportunity. Your turn. Right, so cheers. Happy glue vine Christmas, whatever it is. Just December. Yeah. Oh, it's nice. <laughs> really nice. The lumps are a bit... You could do with a tea strainer. Take the bits out, but it's really nice. Yeah. <laughs> We continued our tour around the Marktal, seeing if any of the stalls had changed since we were there in the summer. This one, yeah. After continuing our tour around the Marktal, we hopped on the shuttle bus and went back to the ship, hoping to catch lunch in the main dining room. But we were a little bit late, so we decided to try room service. So, about 20 minutes ago, we ordered room service, or lunch. As a treat. Yeah, because the main dining room is just sort of closed. We're a little bit late getting back from town. And this is what we've got. So Lindsay ordered a club sandwich. And it comes with chips. Lovely. Oh, really hot plate. Oh, is it? Oh, yes. <laughs> I'll do this quickly. <laughs> and I ordered an oh, open oh. steak sandwich. And that looks really lovely. So we'll let you know what it's like when we've tried them. So I've just had my fillet steak open sandwich which came with um, some rocket lettuce and it came with um, what else was it oh yeah caramelized onions and french fries and it was really really nice it's about 20 minutes from ordering to delivery and uh, absolutely wonderful really good service so Ince, what was your club sandwich like very nice the um, bread was very slightly toasted and um, the filling was very good, very plenty of it inside, and some lovely um, potato crisps, you know, chips to go with it. Um, yeah, very tasty. Would you have it again? Oh yeah. Would you recommend it? Yeah. Yeah, it's really nice. Excellent. So we've come down to oh, Sir Samuel. We got a chocolate for a special Belgian chocolate hot chocolate. 
Now, there's a bit of a story behind this, isn't there, Lindsay? Because we're on deck yeah. three at the moment, and the doors are wide open just around the corner. For because the gangway. For the gangway, yeah. So, in the interest of making this little video about the hot chocolate, we are absolutely freezing. We are, Aren't we, dear? Yes, even the officers are saying, and even, even the poor bartender is having to work in yeah, his coat. he's working indoors in his coat. Look at that. I'll show you that. Yeah. Bless him. I've never ever seen waiters wearing outdoor coats working inside before. So Linz, what do you find is the best thing to do on a Monday afternoon in Rotterdam? Well, drink glug. Drink glug? No, Monday afternoon, that was Monday morning. Oh right, oh in that case What are we doing now? Gin and tonic. Gin and tonic, cheers. And I decided to have my first Prosecco of the cruise, and it's really nice. So we found our way up to the lookout on Queen Mary 2. Um, if I lift up my camera, you can look out. <laughs> you can look out. Yeah. But boy, oh boy, you got to be tall to see anything out of here. Because I certainly can't. There's another ship's bell. We've got two on board then. Hmm. So, Lindsay. Oh, so, Gunners. So, Lindsay, you've got what are you drinking tonight? Um, at the moment, I've got a, a Malbec. Oh, and hand. is that your first one of the cruise? Uh, yes, it is. Well, let's see what you think of it. I thought it would go with the blue vine we had earlier. Hmm. Nice? Yeah. yeah. Easy to drink? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Too easy to drink? Maybe. Oh, we're not going to have an ancient renegade night, are we? Because if you do, you'll hurt yourself falling against that barrier <laughs> over there. But it's a bit hard. No, I'm not going to get emotional. No, no emotions. No, no, no. no, no. Not emotional at all. We'll see. Dinner tonight was an altogether different affair. No cues, excellent service and first class food. Well done, Q9. After dinner, we made our way to the theatre, where we thoroughly enjoyed the performance of John Martin. He was probably one of the best comedians we'd ever seen at sea. Such quick wit. Excellent. After the show, we visited the Queen's Room, had a couple of drinks and enjoyed some of the music from the wonderful band. After this, we went to the Commodore Club so Lindsay could explore a new cocktail. Black what? Bellini. Black Bellini. It's going to come around there. Because it's so dark. And you've got what you got in it? Blackberry. Um, Blackberry or something of that ilk. Right, go for it then, lovey. Fruity. Pretty. Tasty. Yeah. So if you're enjoying our trip, perhaps you'd like to consider subscribing to the channel. And don't forget to hit that like button. And also hit the notification bell so you can be sure to receive all our future uploads. But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey as you fade away.